Hello good people, Magnet be here. Welcome to my channel. This channel is all about learning on how to work online. The various jobs you can specialize in working online. The job that best suits your talents and capabilities. So if you are new to my channel and you like this content, you like to be learning more working online, kindly consider subscribing and clicking that notification bell so that you don't miss a thing. Hello and welcome guys, Magnet be here. And in today's video, I'm going to share with you on how to open and verify a Payone account. And guys, you can see other companies like Vabit and so many clients, these days they prefer paying you via Pioneer over PayPal. I'm not advertising Pioneer or anything like that, but what I can say is if you have an option to be paid via Pioneer or PayPal, I really, really recommend Pioneer. Reason being, in Pioneer, we don't experience so much trouble just like PayPal or money being held on hold. I mean, 180 days limitation and stuff like that. Once you verify your Pioneer account and then you use it ethically, you're, I don't think you're going to receive so many problems. You're going to be, you're not going to be in so many problems. And guys, in today, I'm going to show you a step-by-step -step tutorial on how you can open an account and verify it. Here we go, guys. So you search. Pioneer, sign up. Avoid advertisements, add, then click on this one. And then click on register. I am a freelancer, so you're going to see you're, you're a freelancer on maybe if you have any other option. For my case here, I'm a freelancer. I'm going to take that one and then looking for get paid by international clients or freelance marketplaces. And then click on register. So guys, for my case, I'm going to join as an individual and ensure that the details you're going to fill in in this uh, section here and English characters and the first name, last name and everything should appear just the same way it appears on your national ID, on your DL, passport, any document you're going to use, make sure the first name, the second name and everything appears exactly the same as it appears in your DL, on your national ID, any that you prefer to use. After clicking next, you're going to see this field and make sure you enter it. you enter the details correctly. Your country, street and number, more address, city and town, postal code or zip code. Make sure you enter phone number which is on you in that they're going to send a code. So make sure you can receive the code on, on time and then enter the verification code here. Later, click on next. The next aspect is the security details. This is the most the most essential part of this of this process. And guys, as you know, we are humans and we are prone to forgetting passwords and stuff. So each time you may need to reset your password or something like that, you must remember the security questions. So make sure you enter something that you know, something that you're used to and stuff. Make sure you enter your exact and accurate details. Your password, enter password you can remember, security questions, make sure you set them. Make sure you say the security question that you can remember and uh, the ID details, make sure they are accurate and correct. After the very essential part of the security details, you are now going to confirm our bank details. Pioneer, you might use the option of sending your money into your bank account. And so you're going to confirm that you have, uh, and so you're going to confirm and register your bank account so you, you enter your country the currency the bank and then the most essential thing is name of the holder and the place where you open the bank you must know the bank code but i don't think that's a big a big deal because if you know the place you can search online you can google and then you're going to find the exact code of the place where you opened your account and ultimately put your account number agree the terms and conditions and agree the fees. This is the last section of registration. In the next section now, you're going to discuss on verification of our account. The next thing, check your email and verify your email. And then now you're going to confirm 
that uh, that email is yours and hence the pioneer account is going to be yours so your account is going to be under review for quite some time maybe maximumly three days or it can even be less than 30 minutes if you updated the right documents and you're going to complete and you're going to continue with the rest of the verification process and and now it's gonna open on the login field and you're going to enter your email and your password to log in after after logging in we confirm our identity we verify our identity that is and then i don't really recommend or maybe you can do it for security purposes turning on the two-step verification that is, that means that each time we're going to log into a pioneer you might need your phone number because the code is going to be sent to your phone number to confirm that it's you with trying to log in to your pioneer account so we enter the email and the password to log in after you log in you're going to see this field and remember when we are when we are the security tab there are, there are some security questions that we answered just one and then now they're saying update your account information in order to continue to your pioneer account please update the following information security question two and the answer security question three and the answer so that is exactly what you're going to do after after updating the security questions the second and the third security question you're going to see a prompt like this on a prompt like this on your laptop maybe you have you have information to submit in the verification center this is what i call the verification process now click on submit submit now account verification was the problem to avoid potential delays in access of future payments we need a few more details to verify your account government issued id yeah and you update your this is what you should update a passport or a national id and then you drag and drop here and the next thing that you're going to do to verify your account here is to update your address address one address two town city postal code and remember use the same address details that you used at the security section as we are trying to register this account and now after uploading my verification documents you can see my verified information success we've received your information and we'll let you know as soon as the your details have been reviewed so i'm just chilling waiting for my document to be reviewed in a few and then my account will be good will be verified and i'll be good to go so guys that's how you open and verify a pioneer account Thank you guys for watching my tutorial to the end. Bye.